Hi everyone, today we're going to create kind of a cool visual like you often see on Spotify and we're going to be using Scratch to create this visual design piece like you see here. You'll notice I created these three stars or suns and they're spinning but they're spinning at different speeds. First they spin kind of slow and then a bit faster and faster and then back down to slow so the speeds are always changing. You'll also notice that my favorite artists that I've listened to over the year are listed on each one of the suns, which is something that appeared on my Spotify list earlier this month. Anyways, there's one more cool trick. Look what happens when I hit the space bar. The background color should change like that and back again and back and I can go faster and faster and hold it down until I get this kind of a, uh, effect. It's kind of a cool um, visual that we're creating. So let's get started. Um, if you're new to coding though and you need a refresher, I suggest that you check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you subscribe and follow me because I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Anyways, here's today's activity. I'm going to go to Scratch. So here I am already, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're creating a brand new visual design piece today. If a tutorial pops up here, just exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat sprite by clicking on the garbage can. Goodbye, cat. And I'm going to get a new sprite, so I'm going to click way down here. I'm going to choose a brand new sprite. And the sprite that we're going to be using is the ball. So I suggest that you also choose the ball sprite right there. And a nice backdrop. So the backdrop I'm going to choose, I'm going to click way down here. The backdrop I want is a nice simple one. It's going to be this one called stars. There we go. So now let's code this yellow ball so it looks like a sun. That's our first step. So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the yellow spot sun uh, ball sprite right now. I'm going to go to costumes. Uh, I'm going to shrink the screen a bit so that I can see how much space I have to work with. So I'm hitting the negative magnify there. And I'm going to use this rectangular draw feature right there, rectangle. So I want the rectangular uh, rays or the arms to be the same color as the star. So look, I have a shortcut trick for you. I'm going to click right here in the fill and I'm going to get a sample. I'm going to grab a sample of the star. So look, I'm going to click right there in the sampling tool. I'm going to click over here somewhere, like right in the middle there. And now my fill is going to be the same color as the star. So now I'm going to use the rectangular piece there. And look, I'm just going to hold it down with my mouse or my touchpad until it's just about right. Then I'm going to use this arrow to move it around until it's centered as best I can. I could even make it a bit smaller, thinner, wider, taller. Just move it until it's in the right spot. Now once I've got this perfect the way I want it, look what I'm going to do. I have a trick here. I'm going to hit the copy, copy and paste. Now I've got a second one. It's identical to the first one. So I don't need to redraw it again. I'm just going to put it right down here. Now look, I'm going to copy it again and paste it. And then I'm going to move it over here, but I'm going to turn it by grabbing these little arrow things right there. Turn it so it's uh, perfectly horizontal like that. Now I'm going to copy that one and paste it. And now I've got my fourth ray or arm of my sun. There, that looks pretty cool. You can see over here what it looks like. Hey, if it's too small or too big, you can always change the size right here. Right now it's at 100%. I think I might make it a little bit bigger and try 120%. That's just for me. Yours may be a different size depending on how you drew it. So I've got my first star made. That's our first task today. I'm going to pause here and let everybody catch up. Make sure to use the arrow, the copy, the paste, and also use the uh, sample sampling tool right there in the fill so you can get the exact right color that you want. When you're done all of these things, I'll be here waiting for you for the next part. So good luck and uh, I'll see you shortly. All right, welcome back. I hope you've had luck creating your spinning star here. Hey, I'm going to duplicate this star a couple more times, but before we do that, I'm going to code it so it's spinning really nicely because when we duplicate it, we're also going to duplicate the code. So let's finish coding this one before we duplicate it. So I'm going to go to the code button over here and now I'm going to code it to start spinning slowly at first, then a bit faster and then a bit faster. So I'm going to go get uh, an events button, the green flag there. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you to see at home or at school, wherever you happen to be working. 
When the green flag is clicked, I want it to turn 15 degrees a whole bunch of times. So I'm going to get turn 15 degrees. And now I'm going to get a repeat um, in the control function there. Repeat 10 times. No, I'm going to have it repeat 20 times. Okay, let's see how this looks. Green flag, turn 15 degrees, and repeat that 20 times. Let's go. Nice. It's going awfully fast, though. So I want it to slow down a little bit, okay? Um, so I'm going to go get a wait. Wait one second. So, uh, turn 15 degrees, wait a second. Repeat, repeat, repeat 20 times. Let's see how that looks. Well, that's kind of silly. It's going way too slowly. One second is w too much too long of a wait. So I'm going to change that um, to 0 decimal 0 0.05. I think that looks really nice. I've been experimenting uh, earlier in the day. So let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag. That looks pretty good. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull this down. I'm going to put the mouse pointer right here. And I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate this code. And put it right underneath. This one's going to go a little bit faster. So instead of 0 decimal 0 0.05, it's going to go 0 decimal 0 0.03. So it should be going um, slow, now medium speed. Green flag. Slow, medium. Great. Now I'm going to duplicate this once again. Two fingers in the touchpad and duplicate. Put that underneath. And this one's going to be even faster. 0 decimal 0 0.01. So we've got slow, medium, fast. Let's see how it looks. Ready? Green flag and go. Perfect. I like that. Hey, I'm going to add one more piece of code underneath. Slow, medium, fast. Now I'm going to go back to a medium because then we're going to put a big loop around it. Watch how I do this. I'm going to pull this one out. I'm going to duplicate this one. And this one's going back to the 0 decimal 0 0.03 right there. And then I'm going to put a forever loop around the whole thing. So I'm going to grab the forever. Slow, medium, fast, medium, and then all the way back to the beginning, slow. So it should repeat forever and ever really nicely. Slow, medium, fast, medium, slow. There, I think that looks pretty good. I think we've coded our first spinning star. If you want, you can uh, experiment with these numbers. Maybe you want to change it from 15 degrees to something a bit more or less. Maybe you want to chew, uh, work on how much it weights. Maybe you want to uh, experiment those numbers a bit so it looks a little bit smoother. It's, it's a little bit clunky right now, but I like it. So we're going to pause there and let you code your star so it spins slow, medium, fast, medium, and then does that forever and ever. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, now that we've got this spinning perfectly, before we duplicate it, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to make a second copy of this one, but it's going to be a different color. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go to the costumes button again. I'm going to get rid of all these other costumes because we're not using them. Blue, pink, green, purple. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So now I've got ball A. It's this orange one here, a yellow one. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my mouse pointer on it right there. I'm going to put two fingers on the touchpad and duplicate it. So they look identical, and they are. This one is ball A. This one is A2. But look what I'm going to do to the second one. I'm going to change the color to an opposite color. I'm going to make this one black. So I'm going to go to the fill. I'm going to go to the black over here. And now I'm going to use the bucket, the paint bucket, to fill in each of these sections. So I've turned it to black. I'm going to change them all with the paint bucket. So I'm going to fill that one, fill that one, fill that one, that one, and this one. So it's still there. You can kind of see it, but it's black. So I've got two um, different spinning stars. Ball A, which is orange or yellow. Ball A2, which is black. So I'm going to go back to my code. And when the green flag is clicked, I want to start with the yellow one. So I'm going to go to the looks button right there. And I'm going to switch to costume A2. I think that was the right one. No, it's just ball A. That's the one I wanted to start with. So I'm going to go back to code. Ball A. Right there. That's the yellow one. So green flag. There we go right there. Um, now that this is coded just right, I'm going to add one last thing. When the space bar is pressed, I want it to switch costumes. Um, that way you can go back and forth between the orange or yellow and the black one. So I'm going to go to the um, uh, 
events button when the space key is pressed. When you hit the space bar, switch to the next costume. We have two costumes, A and A2. Just switch to the next costumes. It always starts on the yellow one, but whenever we hit the space bar, it's just gonna switch costumes. So, um, go to the looks button, next costume. Okay, right there, let's see how that works. Ready, green flag, yep, it's yellow. Space bar, it's black. Yellow, black. That looks great, okay. Um, so now I'm just gonna pause for a minute. Now that we're done coding this one just right, I'm going to duplicate it two more times. So look how I do that. I'm gonna go here with my mouse pointer, two fingers and a touchpad, and duplicate. There's a second one. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. And I'm gonna move it right over here. This looks just like my Spotify list that came up last month. That's perfect, so far so good. So hey everybody, I'm gonna pause, let you make a second costume by putting your mouse pointer here, two fingers on the touchpad and duplicating it. And then for the second one, fill it in um, black. So you have a yellow one and a black one. It's gonna be a kind of a cool trick shortly. And then uh, make sure to add this piece of code. At the beginning, green flag, switch to costume ball A, which is the yellow one. And then when the space key is pressed, switch to the next costume. So you can go back and forth like this. I'm gonna pause, let everybody catch up, and then we'll get going for the next part. We're almost done, by the way. I appreciate your patience. So good luck with this, and I'll see you shortly. All right. So before we continue, our next task is to work on the backdrop. So you'll notice that I have this nice stars backdrop and it's right over here under the stage. I'm going to click on it. There is my stars backdrop right there. I'm going to get another backdrop that's going to uh, alternate with this black one so it gives that, um, that cool effect. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to backdrops right over here. Remember, I was already on backdrops under my stage, but I'm going to go to the backdrops. And I'm going to get another backdrop. Um, and make it the same color as these stars. So look, I'm gonna go way down here to the bottom, right down there. I'm gonna choose a second backdrop, and the one I like is called Blue Sky because I can change the color of it. So I'm gonna choose Blue Sky. There it is right there. It's not the right color that I want, but um, I'm gonna change that in a minute. So now I've got two backdrops. I've got the stars backdrop, and I've got Blue Sky. Now I'm gonna change the color of Blue Sky so it's almost the same as these stars right now. I'm going to do that by using the paint bucket, right, and the fill. So I've got to get the right color fill. So I'm just going to try to get it to a nice yellowish color like that, maybe. I'm going to change these a bit back and forth until I get a right color. I'm not going to spend too much time right now because I don't want to waste much of your time. You may have more time at school to do this, but I'm going to get the yellow right there. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to go to the fill, and I'm going to fill this in yellow like that perfect so now I've got two backdrops stars and blue sky too so look how I'm gonna code the backdrop right now we've got nothing coded on the backdrop so when the green flag is clicked I want it to go to stars so green flag let me make this a bit bigger so you can see when the green flag is clicked switch the backdrop stars that's under the looks switch the backdrop stars Let's just test that out, ready? Green flag, yep, it goes to stars. Now, just like we did with the spinning stars, when the, when the uh, space bar is clicked, next costume. So events, when the space bar is pressed, right there. When the space key is pressed, next costume or next backdrop, right there. So now look, green flag. Okay, everything's spinning nicely. I've got the black backdrop, I'm gonna hit the space bar. Perfect. The backdrop changed to yellow, and the spinning stars changed to black, and I can go back and forth. And it looks really cool, like that. So, I'm gonna let you do the backdrops, and once again, make a, a second backdrop using this, choose a backdrop down here, and then fill it in with a yellow color. So use the fill bucket and a yellow color. So we have two backdrops, the stars and a blue sky one. And then simply code it to, at the beginning, go to the stars, and whenever you hit the space bar, next backdrop. I'm going to pause, and then we're going to come back and do the very last thing. We're almost done. Uh, I'm sure you're doing a great job. I will see you shortly. 
All right, the last part of our project is put on our favorite artists. And um, to do that, it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna go back to the original color by pressing the space bar. Whoops, stop, and space bar, there we go. And now I'm gonna write down my favorite artists. For example, uh, Taylor Swift, let's say, I'm gonna write right there. So I'm gonna do that by going down to the Sprites button and using the paintbrush, right there, paintbrush. And I'm going to write down the word Swift by clicking on the letter T for text and then choosing a good color that's going to show up over top of the yellow and over top of the black. And I was experimenting earlier and a nice purple works for me. So a light purple like that, um, maybe a bit darker like that. Now I'm going to write the letter T for, I'm going to sorry, T for text and I'm going to write down Swift. Click over here and I'm going to move the word Swift, Taylor Swift, right on top like that. You can make it smaller or bigger using the arrow function, like that. I think that's a good size for me, Swift. And then I'm gonna repeat that for all of the others. I'm gonna write down a different artist here, like Ariana Grande, and a different artist right here. Hey, again, if you wanna make your spinning stars a bit bigger because the text is too large, you can. I can make this one instead of 120, let's say 150%. Oh, there we go, and let me see if Swift, Swift fits on there. Nice, that looks good. So you might want to make some of these a different size and then write the text on top. I also wrote a title for my project. So again, I went down here, I clicked the paintbrush, I chose a color, I chose letter T, and then I wrote down your favorite Spotify artists. You can see on my original project how it looked. I wrote down your favorite artists on Spotify. And I even put a black, uh, I mean a, a purple black drop backdrop behind it and I have Swift and Bieber and Grande on top of it and it looks pretty cool especially when you hit the space bar so that's our project for today if you get stuck please please go back and check out my code on these um, uh, in this video and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself I'm looking forward to seeing you at our next project which should be pretty cool it's a fitness project I think you're gonna like it anyways have a good rest of your day bye bye